everyone and welcome to this week's assembly. I'm hoping that you've all had a good holiday and not eaten too many Easter eggs. I bet you all need to get fit and healthy now. And we've got lots of plans to help you around those areas over the next next few, uh, few, few weeks. So get involved in all the challenges that are coming, coming about, including getting yourselves outdoors and really enjoying yourselves getting fit and healthy and enjoying the better weather. It's amazing what you can see around the, around the place, so make sure that when you're out and about, you're taking lots of photographs. You've all been incredibly busy so far, and I've made a little bit of a list of things that you've been up to. So you've been doing some work on journeys for the Engaged National Competition, You've been trampolining down the farm, doing lots of digging and prepping of the land, doing lots of work around the workshop and building and making, creating things and using knowledge, the knowledge um, harvest to create your ideas around your knowledge of certain subjects. That's fantastic. And also books. Books galore. Mrs. Wilshaw, what have you been up to buying lots more books? Oh, it's a fantastic, some fiction and non-fiction um, array of books for us all to get our teeth into. As you know, I love reading too. So just a couple of updates. Um, really, really proud of this group of boys who have achieved um, an award from Trinity College London, the Arts Award, Bronze Award. And these are the official certificates that have come from their fantastic achievement to you boys and also to Miss Ari and the supporting staff who got you to a point where, well, and yourselves obviously, welcome to you guys, you've got yourselves a fantastic award, well done. So well done to Nathan, Ben Stewart, Josh Ward, Tom Knight, and to Jacob Shorter, fantastic achievement, and those will go in your record of achievement folders. Brilliant, excellent. See, it's live. Okay, then on to certificates of the week. So, student of the week in Hockney um, goes to Kai for being a positive role model and for showing maturity with regards to his own individual needs. Well done to Kai. And in Roundtree the award goes to James for having a really positive first week back, trying hard with his work and trying to be more independent. In Sheeran the award has gone to Harry for his positive attitude to school and he's been amazing all week. Well done to Harry. In Priestley the award went to Nathan for completing work towards his OCR life and living skills writing a story for the Engage Creative Awards and having fabulous engagement this week with School of Rock. Well done to Nathan. In Priestley, the award has gone to Jack for working hard on a fabulous original story for the Engage Creative Awards. In Hargreaves, the award has gone to Alfie for working extremely hard on his Engage Awards, completing it and submitting his entry. He has some, had some fantastic ideas. Well done to Alfie. In Hargreaves, the award went to Zihan for settling back into school really well and even letting us see him laugh and smile. Well done to Zihan, a fantastic first week back. And in Adams, the award has gone to Bailey for a great return of completing all his functional skills, English and maths work. In Nightingale, the award went to Tyler for working hard to improve his spelling and creating a phonics game for his peers. Well done to Tyler. And in Clancy, the award went to Josh. Josh has worked really hard this week. He's been polite and respectful. He's also made an extra effort to include his peers in class activities. A very good week for Josh, well done. And in Whittaker, the award went to William for his fantastic efforts on his journey of life work. Well done to William. In Best, the award went to Charlie. Charlie's worked so well this week, pushing his concentration levels to get the job well done to Charlie. So, in Boothroyd, the award went to Travis for having a positive first week back. And also in Boothroyd, to Faison for having a really positive week back too. Well done to Faison. House of the week this week went to a house who have collectively been fantastic from each and every student, they've worked really hard. 
Kai has completed a full week in class producing some excellent work and Connor's contribution to helping staff with evening meals, in particular the barbecue we had on Thursday was outstanding. Well done to Connor and I caught up with you earlier so keep this going. Three students are looking forward to learning independent travel as from next week and are keen to do this to develop their own development and the interaction between all students has been positive. Um, including Kai engaging with his peers, participating in games of pool, which is something he's found difficult to do. So guess what? The award went to, to Bronte. So all you lads will receive 10 learning tokens if you are students of the week. Well done to you guys. And then finally, delighted by this certificate, and this is for Billy Joe. So Billy, here's your feedback. Billy, you have shown great commitment to our school community in a way that gives me great confidence that you will continue the progress in progression even further. Despite reaching the pinnacle of our social progress system, there are far too many achievements to mention them all, and I've never seen as many outstanding testimonies from any other child in my 25 years at school, from staff who work closely with you, all describing you as a great role model to others and a great support of staff and having a selfless attitude to our community. There are really amazing comments and I must too comment on your fantastic attitude and contribution to school life in particular. Although you like to jest about my hometown, does anybody know Mr Talbot's hometown? I still believe you're an outstanding young man who will go on and achieve great things in life if you continue on this path you have chosen, which we all know you will, Billy. Well done to Billy. I know your family will be extremely proud of your progress and achievement at school, as are we. Well done, Billy. You've progressed to platinum level. Well done. Fantastic job. Very proud. So, before we go, I'm going to draw out five tickets and you boys can pick up your prizes from this section this next week. First one, Bailey Newton. Stephen Mackay, Mulkay, should I say? Nathan Smith. Oops. Stand together. Sid Rhodes and Edward Kingsley. So well done to you boys. You can pick your prizes up from the reception this next week. Okay guys, have a great week and hopefully I'll see you as I'm exercising and moving around the playground this next week. Take care. Good morning everyone and welcome to Mrs Wilshaw's Word of the Week. Slight change with Word of the Week this week as this week I am looking for reading champions. So a champion is our Word of the Week. Now a champion is someone who is the best at what they do and I am looking for the best people to be able to help me to promote reading across the school. So whether you love reading, whether or not you would like to use the new scanner that we've got in school to scan all the books in, if you like helping to organise things, if you'd like to be able to write to authors and to illustrators and find out more about the new books that they've got in release, if you'd like to be one of the first people to get your hands on all the new exciting books that we're getting in school, then I would like to hear from you. This is a paid opportunity. Now whether or not I pay you in books or in biscuits, haven't yet decided, but if you're interested in representing your class, your house, the school with reading and the love of reading, then please do get in touch with me. Thank you. Good morning everyone, hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, today's challenge uh, is for staff and students, um, so give it your best shot. Uh, I want you to try and name and as, as many items of food as you can in one minute. So that's 60 seconds. Um, it's a lot harder than you think because you get a little bit flustered about thinking about what item of food you might think of next. Um, so let me know how you get on and good luck.